So if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I have a stove in the shed. I want to make a new white style burner for the stove and I'm going to make it out of this puppy feeder. Really easy, I'm going to show you how I do it. Here we go. <laughs> now I put a score line all the way around near the top of this and I want to measure the diameter because we want 15 holes spaced equally all the way around. Okay, so let's do that. I can actually feel the line on it. So we've got 106.05, 106.05. We're going to multiply that by pi, so multiply it by 3.14, and that equals whatever. So 332.997, and we're going to divide that by the amount of holes we want. So that's going to be divided by 15, all right? So 22.1998. So a few years ago, I was using this Minion stove in the shed, and uh, rather than kind of get rid of it, um, I painted it up, and I'm using it now as a grinder stand. And I put stuff in it now and again. It looks good, so I kept it. So look, here we go. Here's our puppy feeder. I'm having trouble getting the drill bits to go into it. So what I've done is I'm just using this as a, as a prop for holding it. And we're going to just literally puncture a hole in it. So this is just a hardened steel screw. And uh, all I'm going to do is where I've marked off, you know, the position of the holes, I'm just going to literally drive a little hole into it. So not hard to do. Just wherever I want it and just give it a smack. So right, we've punctured a few holes all the way around this stepper bit. It could be any bit you want. And we're just gonna go. So drilling 15 holes, 10 mil in diameter. Looks very nice, very professional. So we're just installing the half inch oil feed to the burner. Reassembling the gate valve with a slot and tighten it into my malleable iron fitting. And that's just a half inch tank connector in a dog food tin. Tighten the nut. And I'm filling it with used vegetable oil. Okay, so this is just your standard puppy feeder. I drilled 15 holes in it, 10 mils in diameter. You can see the back of it. Uh, I tried it <laughs> anyway that's what it looked like before i drilled the holes in it okay these are easy to come by and it works really really well i'm going to show you that now so look goes into the stove so in here you can see this this is our half inch feed i've got oil in that dog food tin uh, just scrappy vegetable oil okay this is used vegetable oil it could be motor oil if you want it to be but um it works the same so anyway we're using veggie oil 15 holes 10 mil about 22 mil apart on center, okay? Just in case. Right, so it goes in there. That's it, under the actual dripper, right? So we're gonna drip oil into that. Now, I assembled a few other bits and pieces to concentrate the flame. Okay, this was just an oil drum, right? Very thin walled and all that. Um, this is just prototyping. This is just to show you how easy it is to get this thing going. Okay, so that goes under there. and sits in the tin. <laughs> I'm just saying you can get this stuff going with whatever you've got lock, knocking around in the shed. So anyway, a little bit of imagination. Saw blade, okay, that goes on top. I'll show you all this in a second. Saw blade, okay. And then we've got a car brake disc roller, you know. And to, to space it out, this is just, I don't know what this is. Baby formula. Okay, so we're just using that as a spacer. So drop it on the middle and put this on like a top hat. So that's what it all looks like. You can see the puppy, the silver of the puppy tray, the saw blade, <laughs> the baby formula tin, and a car brake disc. And there's the half inch feed into the system. Okay, so to follow on from that, to follow that up, That's my drip feed system. And then to have a look in. Okay, you can see it's used oil. So what about setting fire to it? Yeah, no problem, here we go. Right, this is really quick and easy. Uh, it makes an absolute ton of heat. It makes more heat than most people would need. 
Now this shed is one layer of, of sheet steel, right? So you can keep the wind off, keep the rain off. As for heat, no. So I have to make a lot of heat. Okay, this is kerosene, it could be diesel, no problem. Um, I'm just gonna squirt in a bit. The idea is this thing gets it going, gets it red hot, and then as we drop vegetable oil or whatever oil you're using into this, it, um, it ignites, it vaporizes on its way in and then burns. Uh, cold veggie oil or cold you know, engine oil won't burn. Okay, that's it. Our air goes in through here. Um, we've got a center plate there. It comes up into the bottom of the puppy feeder and then it comes out through the holes I drilled and that gives it air for combustion. When I close this door, the only air the stove is going to get is through the bottom. Okay. Right, so how do I light it? All right, here we go. This is just your standard blowtorch. So there's your standard blowtorch. Right, so now we have to close this. And we'll add some oil. Okay, I'll show you the oil. So we just want a little stream of oil. Now as this thing reddens the metal, the oil coming in is going to get vaporized. Hear that? <laughs> okay, so there we go, we've got a waste oil burner. <laughs> Working really well. Okay, so there you go, I've got a great waste oil burner. Uh, just a few bits and pieces we had knocking around the place. We had puppies, the puppies are all gone now. <laughs> so we had puppy feeders that we didn't need. Look at this thing go, it's amazing. And maybe you can see into it on the other camera, I don't know, but it's making an absolute ton of heat. Right, we're just dripping oil down from this into here. We can control the air, we can control the flow, and it's brilliant. Absolute ton of heat, I'm gonna have to move things away from here. <laughs> it's getting too hot. So look, if you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here, that'd be fantastic. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now, good luck.